Good morning guys. It's Saturday. We don't have school today, which means I can catch up on some much needed house cleaning. And the main reason I want to get my house clean, well, the main reason is because it makes me feel like everything is good in the world <laughs> if my house is clean. But the other reason is because we have some really special guests coming tomorrow. We have some friends who used to be our neighbors and we, they've helped us kill chickens and we've helped them kill chickens. And they're gonna come over tomorrow because they've never seen our new place but also they're gonna help us split some firewood. So we're really excited, mostly just to see them. You may know them. Um, it's the Rhodes family from the Justin Rhodes channel. Check it out on YouTube if you haven't. Um, he's also known as the Chicken Ninja. So if you've ever wanted to have chickens, go check out his channel. He has so much valuable information. Let me show you my biggest project today. I'm sure some of you have had this same experience where you have procrastinated on a certain project and then it just gets totally out of hand. Well, let me show you what happens when I procrastinate. You see that? I bet you that's like 12, 12 loads of laundry. Whew. So my main goal today is to get that folded and put away. Fold it and put away. Whew, I hope I can get it done. Before I do that though, I need to do another really important thing to prepare for tomorrow. I need to get some chicken out of the deep freezer. And we're gonna make them lunch and I thought it would be really fun to serve them some of their own chicken meat. When we help them butcher their chickens, a couple of months ago, they generously gave us a bunch of the chickens that we butchered, kind of as payment and as a thank you. So we're gonna go into the dungeon, as I like to call it, because that's where our deep freezer is. And I'm gonna get two chickens out to feed both of our families tomorrow. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Can you guys see in there at all? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, I like to check and make sure there's no creatures. Y'all have been down here before for the thousand jars of food. Oh, I don't like coming down here. Okay, I got my chickens. Whew, I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> I meant to ask Arthur to get those out yesterday and I forgot, but now you guys can see the reality of how I feel about the basement. Well, I don't know that I could ask for a better present than a child to come to me and ask to help me clean. So that feels really good this morning. <laughs> it's time to get the laundry started. I have my helpers, Grace and Joyful. Joyful, you want to help me with laundry? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, well, we're still gonna do laundry. It's got to get done. Here we go. My skirts, hang them up here. It's taking forever. the kitchen to check on the baby the girls had been watching him while I was finishing up the laundry and look just pass right out I want to see if I can get him laid down without waking him up just turn that light off Could just stay here all day. <laughs> Mama? Yeah. Can I make lunch? I don't really know what to make. What are you gonna make? Meat and cheese roll wipes. Um and like a veggie dip or salad. 
Okay, that's awesome. This whole having older kids thing is starting to pay off. She like totally asked me to wash the windows. She helped me the whole time I was folding laundry. Didn't complain. Then she watched the baby so I could finish because he was fussy. She fed him lunch. And now she just came in here and asked me if she could make lunch. This is incredible. Kids. We were just walking out to the car and they came to get all the carts from the parking lot and they gave all the kids money. <laughs> I have no idea why. I kept saying like you're well, just I'm kids, you don't need pocket. to give them money, but they insisted. Pocket. You what do you want to do with yours? I wanna play pocket teenager. It's so funny because since we moved to this town, everywhere we go, people give the kids stuff. Usually it's candy. But it's so funny. That that, that kid gave them seven dollars. Seven dollars. I saved like 10% just hanging out till the cart boys came to get the carts. 10% just for having cute kids. <laughs> Maybe I should have more cute kids. I'll get, then my savings will multiply. <laughs> we'll see. So just to prove my point, the kids wanted to get something with their money that that kid gave them. And so they picked gum. So I got them a pack of gum. But what happened when I went to go pay for the gum? What happened, Joyful? Tell me. They gave us a giant sucker, but it's tiny. <laughs> yeah. On the one hand, it can be kind of annoying for people to always give your kids candy, but I like to look at it like this. Like, it's an amazing thing to live in a community that values children. And granted, they show it by giving them candy, but that's really only one of the ways they show it. Every time I go out with my kids, people offer to help me, people hold doors for me, people talk to my kids, they say hi to them, they tell them that they're beautiful. I just really appreciate that. I appreciate the value placed on family in this community. Hey, I, I didn't always feel that in the city that we moved from. I didn't always feel the value placed on families and on children. Thank you. I definitely you almost never felt it. So. It's just been a really neat surprise for that aspect. Are you gonna give it to her? Uh -huh. It's just been a really neat, I didn't expect that moving out here and it's been really neat to have my family embraced in that way. So we have the house basically clean and we're getting the food ready. We have all our supplies. I think we're ready for our special guests to come tomorrow, our good friends. We're excited. Thank <laughs> you. 